Hi, everybody. All right. Recently, I watched an NDE video. Um, unfortunately, I don't remember which one. If I do, I will comment below. And video NDE, for those who don't know, is uh, near-death experience. I have a weird hobby of enjoying uh, reading and, and watching many of those stories. And it's been like that since I was young. So somehow that captivated me. I've never had one myself, um, I guess, thankfully. <laughs> but uh, I um, find those stories to be deeply uh, encouraging. <clears throat> and it feels like it reminds me of something I remember. Uh, not, I don't literally remember it, but it feels very at home for me when I watch those videos and hear those stories. It used to be just books, right? When I was growing up, all I could do was read them in books. And now, of course, there's thousands of YouTube videos about NDE stories. I'm so grateful that they're all out there. Well, one I saw recently um, had a couple wonderful basic life lessons that I want to recount here. And um, first of all, you know, I love that this, the speaker said, you know, the purpose of life is, I think, varied. Personally, I think there are I think each of us has uh, a very nuanced purpose of life, and it's probably quite different from other people. But there probably is a core purpose for being here in Earth School um, that we all share to some degree. And not surprisingly, the answer is love, right? Love and forgiveness. Um, we all have different many other different purposes in life you know there might be a you know, might you might have a purpose for your career you might have a purpose for your family for your hobbies for your um, health you know health challenges there might be purpose there there might be purpose for um, your volunteering or whatever else that, that you do or be in this life but we all seem to share it to some degree some of us more than others the core earthly sole purpose of learning love in, in many ways and the the speaker said life is for give, forgiving our love forgiving our love <laughs> so when you forgive yourself and you forgive others you are giving love to that person to that situation and I love that rephrase of forgiveness for it's it's for giving our love it's for giving you know giving like giving to somebody and to ourselves the love that is always available for giving um, if we practice and learn to tap in to our connection with the divine source your god uh, your higher self your source of eternal security and potentiality uh, the love you have there is infinite and we often forget that and so the speaker said often when we forget what life's purpose is we think life is for getting things getting this from this person getting you know get getting the benefit from this situation it's all about getting from me for this person what is this person what can this person do for me for getting my benefit and when we do that we are forgetting what that core deeper life purpose that we all share is uh, it's rather instead of for it's all about getting for us it's about forgiving to others our love which requires the practice again of sourcing our love which is forever and ever available in complete abundance, we just forget um, that it's there and we haven't practiced tapping into that infinite source often enough where we can instantly go, I'm complete. I am uh, able now to give love. And that's, it's not easy, obviously. You know, it takes practice of not only whatever is self-regulation, emotional regulation, theo regulation, um, however we practice our mind, body, soul system to be resourced enough to give love 
to first ourselves and to other people. Uh, and part of that regulation, part of that practice is, of course, making sure we're well slept, well fed, you know, we are well rested. Um, that allows us to be able to give love, to give energy, essentially, to others and to ourselves as well. So I love that story. And, and part of the sourcing of the divine love is, and this is what the speaker said as well, you can do no wrong. In fact, and I know this is going to be controversial to say this, there is no right and wrong in terms of self-blame or blaming others. Okay, there, because, well, I think this is a really interesting point. At what point do you say something is right or something is wrong? Like judging somebody else, whether it's right or wrong, and, or judging yourself, whether it's right or wrong. Maybe your heart knows. Maybe that's all we can say is your heart knows whether you did right or wrong. Your conscience knows for yourself whether you did right or wrong. Whether someone else did right or wrong, it's up to their life path, up to their conscience. Their conscience is trained differently. Maybe they have a different purpose. We don't know truthfully and even if you blame yourself and your conscience says oh you did that wrong ultimately according to the speaker there there are only consequences and there's only opportunities for growth and there's growth experiences and growth opportunities and at the end of the life when we come back to eternity and the soul we just look at oh look when you did that, this is what happened. These are the ripple effects that happened. End of story. That's, that's it. When you did this, these are the ripple effects that happened to yourself and to others and to the spirit beings around you and to um, future lives. That's, that's so. Well, would you, would you uh, like to do that more or less? It's up to you. All right? Um, and so in that sense, you know, in the, your own judgment of yourself, after this life and during this life, your conscience, uh, you get to determine what's right or wrong. Um, now, this is, again, controversial as well. I mean, it all depends on what your view of God is. Um, yes, there, there are external powerful spiritual beings and there may be an external powerful spiritual God being or whatnot. But in the speaker's view that I watch, it's like you are your own judge ultimately. Or maybe God empowers you. God is teaching you how to be your own judge. Because if there is an eternal, external, ultimate being called God, have you noticed that we are given so much freedom here? Have you noticed this? <laughs> that you are given ultimate freedom here to do whatever. I mean, people do all kinds of terrible things to themselves and to each other. Terrible, again, from, from, from our own point of view. And it's allowed. It's allowed. Terrible, terrible things in the world. It's allowed. Why is there so much freedom? Have you noticed that? Why is there so much freedom to do a tremendous amount of bad and tremendous amount of good? Well, because maybe this life doesn't matter. I mean, doesn't matter in the sense of nobody is really harmed. And nobody's, you know, like it's all part of a game that afterwards we all evaluate together and go, oh, it's interesting that when this person killed that person, um, here are the ripple effects in future lives and in this, you know, the spirit beings around what happened to them and to all the physical beings around in that person's family and in your family. And this is what happened. So just so you know, and would you like to go back and would you like to go back and play this game with this person to see if you can repair something? I don't know if it's up to you. It's like there's there's tremendous amount of freedom just like a, just like a very, um, yeah, just like a teacher would say, hey, I'm going to give you the freedom to learn and I'm going to help you evaluate afterwards whether your actions were helpful for your learning or not. And it's so, essentially, again, this gives us, the freedom gives us the, the realization that there is no right or wrong that you're going to be punished by some eternal being you're forgiven for everything you're forgiven for everything you're loved for everything because you are learning to make choices the choices have consequences and you're learning what those consequences are 
so that you can continue making choices that you believe are better for you and for the whole. So forgiveness is starts with the divine source forgiving you and me and all of us of all of it. All of it is forgiven. We're, we're given total freedom. And so therefore, we are also encouraged to forgive others as well. We give our love to others no matter what they're doing. No matter what they're doing, we give our love. We try to, at least we practice again, self-regulation, self-sourcing, you know, self, when I say self-sourcing, meaning capital S, self, from the highest self, source our love. And then we can give that to others because we don't know what their life path is. They're making choices. They have total freedom too. They're, they've been given total freedom from the highest source. And so therefore we also should respect that total freedom from others and from ourselves too. The choices we make. Hopefully this is interesting. Thank you for watching. I found it interesting. And as always, I welcome your comments below. Thanks.